Hello and welcome to this tech demo about my module Dynamic Cities developed for Terrasology, an open source Minecraft clone. The purpose of this module is to create a solid framework for a city simulation set in a procedural generated world. It contains methods for choosing suitable terrain, placing buildings based on a population and their needs, creating believable city districts and setting up an economy which can influence the development of the city. Keep in mind that what you see is merely a demo and not actual gameplay. The footage shows the growth process of some cities in time-lapse. As you can see, the buildings fit into the terrain quite well. This is due to the gathering of a lot of information about the terrain, such as resources and roughness. This in turn allows an algorithm to search for suitable spots for placing a settlement or building. The building's appearance is put together either in-game by the player with a structured template module or by creating generators through code. You can even mix both techniques in one building if you prefer. Afterward, some meta information like the type, name and a possible production chain is added. Each city has a culture which defines available buildings and the needs thereof. Additionally, some default values for the population growth can be added. Most of the user content is created as prefabs, which are basically JSON fi files and thus easily accessible. Here you can see a very simple setup for showing the economy features. As you can see, some buildings seem to produce waffles from time to time, but what about a real production chain and player interaction? When putting some planks into this chest, they are transferred to the actual city inventory. This in turn allows the blacksmith to produce some barrels, as he needs blanks to produce them. Getting back to the, the trader and opening the dialogue screen shows us that some barrels were created and that most of the blanks were consumed in the process. The system is very generic and open for a lot of different implementations. Here I chose the most simple one to ease the development process, but there is a lot of room to create more realistic logistics, actual trading and more complex ways to influence the growth of the city. The module also features districts, which contain various building types and provide a more interesting city layout. For example, you can set up a market district, where only shops will spawn. The distribution of them is automatically scaled with the cultural needs. The actual shape is created with a custom algorithm based on k-means clustering. A colored minimap overlay visualizes them in-game to help the player find what he searches for. Also, the size of the districts and the scattering can be tweaked in various ways. And that is the end of this little tech demo. If you are interested to learn more about Terrasology or this module, then you can find some links in the description of the video.